Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, and a very good afternoon, afternoon yeah, to all our postgraduate uh, potential uh, candidates and yeah, our potential students. Okay, uh, our program coordinators and uh, postgraduate uh, office uh, management team, and uh, our representative uh, from IPSIS, and uh, to all lecturers as well. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, I would like to share my slide. Okay, we are from uh, the Faculty of Architecture, Planning and uh, Surveying and today we would like to share and introduce eh, the opportunity uh, available in our faculty for postgraduate uh, study. Eh? As, uh, because we believe that uh, the under your undergraduate uh, qualification eh, may not be the end of your academic journey. Uh, where the job, eh, the job sector outside there is uh, changing and the new uh, master degree is become eh, a new bachelor deg degree in this uh, competitive uh, industry uh, out there. Okay. So for today's presentation, a uh, sharing session, okay, uh, we love to uh, share uh, with all uh, the overview of our faculty, okay, our team, our center of study and our programs. Yeah? So I'm uh, Norima Mama Arif, okay, the head center for postgraduate studies. And for today highlights, yeah, we bring uh, three program uh, coordinator, okay, uh, from our three uh, master by postgraduate program. We have here today ISDS Dr. Rumaiza Mama Nodrin, program coordinator, master of science, integrated construction project management. We have uh, associate professor TS Dr. Siti Nolizai Harun, program coordinator for heritage and conservation, conservation management. And we have uh, Dr. Siti Mazwin Tamarudin uh, for the uh, science, urban development and management program, okay. Uh, actually, uh, we have uh, 10 eh, postgraduate uh, program, uh, 9 for master and 1 for PhD program. So, inshallah, all the KPs, all the coordinator programs are here. So, if we have any question uh, related uh, to your uh, interest, uh, not necessarily to these three programs, and you can ask any question related uh, to the 10 programs. Okay, feel free to ask. Um, during the Q&A session and inshallah our program coordinator will respond uh, to your uh, questions. Okay, we are FSPU, the acronym of uh, our faculty FSPU is actually in, in Bahasa Malaysia, okay, Faculty Semidenia Perancangan dan Ukur. Okay, um, uh, at present we are operating at uh, five campuses, okay, uh, Shah Alam and Punca Alam Selangor. Uh, Around campus in Perlis, eh, the northern part of uh, Peninsula Malaysia, and we have uh, Sri Iskandar Vera and Kosrawa, our campus located at uh, Kota Samarahan. Okay, not all master programs or postgraduate programs are available in these five campuses. Yeah, uh, only uh, research program. Okay, uh, available in these five uh, campuses. Yeah, so we mean that uh, students or potential students who are interested uh, to pursue their master program, they can choose their campus uh, uh, based on the ability of the supervisor as well as where they want to uh, base. Eh? But for the master by postgraduate program, currently uh, we are operating in Shah Alam and Puncak Alam campus only. Eh? Okay. Um, okay. We have, uh, FSP actually have 11 centers of studies, okay, out of 11, 10 are for undergraduate uh, program. Okay, we have uh, construction, but it's very estate management, architecture, interior architecture, landscape architecture, park and amenity, quantity surveying, surveying science and geometrics, and town and regional planning. Yeah? So these are all the professional program uh, for bachelor degree. Uh, and uh, I would say that, um, 
we are big. Yeah, we are big. We are the biggest big environment faculty in Malaysia as well as in the world. Yeah. So our faculty is established in 1967. Uh, meanwhile, postgraduate um, was established uh, in 1997. Okay, this is our top uh, management led by Professor TPR Dr. Jamal Nidali Abdullah as our dean. And we have uh, three uh, deputy deans with different portfolio. Okay, and we are very glad eh, to have a very strong support uh, from our top management in every aspect eh, of uh, postgraduate activities and development. So as for Center for Postgraduate Study, this is us, our organization chart. Okay, we have uh, nine program coordinators. Okay, we have our Associate Professor Dr. Zara uh, Mama Isto as a program coordinator. Uh, okay, for both uh, research program, Master and PhD. We have as our Dr. Ainun Nisa for AP720, okay, GIS. And we have Dr. Wan Nur Hisham for uh, Master in Property Investment, 75. We have IRTS Dr. Rumaiza, Program Coordinator for Project uh, Integrated Project Management. We have Dr. Mik Farhana Azri, okay, Coordinator for Master in Architecture. And we are Dr. Siti Mazwin, Program Coordinator AP771, Urban Development Management. Uh, we have, uh, here is a uh, Associate Professor T.S. Dr. Sidna Bin Zaiha, Program Coordinator for Heritage uh, and Conservation Management for Urban Space Design, AFD 778, uh, managed by Dr. Asah Nasruddin, while uh, AP 779, Master in Facilities Management, uh, is under Dr. Rizatul Laini. So feel free to contact our program uh, coordinator if you have uh, further questions uh, related to this uh, program. Okay, this is our committee. Uh, we, can, we can consider that our committee is big. Okay? At the moment, the total enrollment is 759 uh, students. Yeah? So, majority of them are from the uh, eight master program by coursework, yeah? about uh, uh, nearly 540 students. And we have 71 students for master program research and one. Uh, for PhD, we have 148 uh, PhD program eh, students. Eh? So out of uh, 759, 17 of them are our international students. And eh? we have international students from Nigeria, eh? Maldives, Palestine, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Oman, Yemen, and uh, China. Okay, And our statistics shows that the enrollment of postgraduate uh, study and eh, for students is continually increasing eh, because there are various reasons why uh, uh, people out there pursue their study in postgraduate uh, uh, student and eh, postgraduate program. Eh. Uh, either you want to enhance your career or you want to change your career or you want to be expert in your career or you want to build up your networking uh, with the postgraduate community okay because from the postgraduate uh, classes postgraduate activity you can build up your networking because maybe uh, in the future they will your classmate or your course mate your uh, your faculty mates eh, will become your future client eh, your employer or your employee yeah? So all uh, our students, yeah, our post-project community are automatically become the members of EMBER. EMBER is Association of Big, uh, big Environment uh, Researchers. And this is a student association established in 2019. All right, okay. For the for our program, okay, we have uh, eight uh, master by coursework or by thought program. Okay, uh, all these program has uh, recognized by MPA. Okay, and uh, the first one is a uh, master of geographical information science, master of property investment, master of science urban development and management. Okay, these three programs uh, currently. Um, Operating in uh, Shah Alam campus. Okay, we offer both uh, full time and part time mode. Okay, the fourth is Master of Architecture. This is the, uh, our professional uh, program. So, for Master of, of Architecture, um, 
currently we only offer full time mode at Puncha Alam eh? and inshallah eh, this coming September 2021 uh, Sri, Sri Iskandar campus in Perak will also accept that eh? uh, will be accepting the uh, AP773 uh, candidates eh? not like other programs master of architecture is specifically for students from architectural background and our, we are very proud to announce that our program, our Master of Architecture, okay, uh, is recognized by the Lembaga Architect Malaysia. And also, uh, we add value to our graduate uh, with uh, RIVA accreditation. Uh, RIVA is Royal Institute of British Architects and uh, Architects UK. So, the Center of uh, Architecture is highly eh, committed um, in assuring that their graduates yeah, com and students uh, competence and comply with the uh, Lembaga Board of Architect Malaysia and RIBA uh, competency requirements. Yeah. Okay, the fifth uh, Master of Integrated Construction Manage uh, Project Management, Master of Science Heritage and Conservation Management, Master of Science Urban Space Design, and Master of Science Facilities Management. Okay, this program also in uh, Shah Alam campus and also offer full, both uh, mode uh, of study, full time and part time. Okay, we have another uh, uh, professional uh, validation bodies, which is uh, RICS, Royal Institution of Chartered Civilian. Okay, we have five programs that, uh, that are recognized by this uh, bodies, uh, body, which is um, AP720, AP725, uh, AP771, AP776 and AP779. Okay, looking at the title of our program, eh, uh, uh, including the AP773. Okay, the rest is a multi-disciplinary uh, uh, program. Okay, most of our students uh, from various background, not necessarily from built environment uh, qualification. Uh, most, uh, some of our students are from engineering background. We have mechanical engineering, uh, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer. All right, okay, and then we have students from uh, business and uh, public administrative administration program. We have students from IT background, economics background, uh, and etc. And they enroll uh, our program because of uh, their scope of work related to this uh, program. Okay, we have two research programs. One is at master level and the second one is Doctor of Philosophy. Okay, both programs are uh, with the word big environment in bracket. Okay, so for this program, the application is throughout the year. Okay, you can go to the UC's website and uh, to apply this program. Okay, so that I mentioned earlier for research program, you can choose campus. You can choose either uh, Shah Alam or Sri Skanda or Arau or Kota Samara, Samarahan eh, subject to the location of your supervisor and yourself as well. Okay, uh, starting last year, okay, October last year, uh, IPSIS has uh, introduced one uh, path eh, uh, for PhD student. In, in addition to the normal entry requirement, okay, we have a PhD fast track. Uh, okay, fast track means that from bachelor degree straight away to PhD level, meaning that the successful candidate eh, will skip the master program. So the entry requirement is the uh, a first class degree. Okay, uh, you obtain your first class degree in any relevant field uh, from the IBM or from other uni university as well. Yeah? So if you are under this uh, qualification, feel free to, co to contact us so we can advise you on the uh, application uh, process. Yeah? Okay, um, build environment, eh? just now our uh, research program in bracket build environment. Eh? Actually, build environment is a very um, big uh, word, yeah? representing various research area or research uh, interests uh, from the aspect of social science, from the aspect of applied science, uh, applied social science, eh? experimental science, or lab based. Uh, Research. So these are example of uh, topics uh, related to uh, big environment. So the topic is uh, still growing. 
Okay, and inshallah we will assist you uh, on the topic related to our faculty. Okay, um, another question that always uh, asked by the student is the supervisors. Okay, for those who are not from our faculty or not from uh, our universities, eh, maybe you are not familiar with um, our lecturers. Uh, but we have the uh, platform where you can find the expert. Okay, you can go to this website. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, UITM. Okay, can you see my screen? No. Okay, you can go, okay, this is a UITM uh, expert website, okay, you can choose, uh, we have three types of uh, search engine here, name, by name, area of expertise or faculty, so you can get their names from this website. Okay, another option is from our faculty website, okay, you go to corporate and you go to staff directory. Okay, will bring you to the uh, our list of uh, center of postgraduate study. Okay, let's say for example, if you're interested uh, uh, something related to construction, you just go to the you just click construction, and then you scroll and okay, find the potential supervisor. For example, I choose our GPT Jean, Dr. Emma Marini. You just click her name, and you go to miscellaneous information. Uh, here we have uh, her curriculum. Uh, it did for CV, so you can browse and read the CV as well as um, you can go to Google Scholar Citation. So you can see the performance and uh, the academic performance of the uh, your, your potential supervisor. Okay, so um, if you want to know about our uh, program, okay, about the entry requirement and list of uh, subject, you can go to this website. Okay, I'll show you the website, the link. Okay, this is the program information related to our program. So these are the 10 uh, programs. So you just click uh, which, uh, which program uh, do you prefer? For example, I click the first one. Okay, Master of Science uh, Facilities Management. We have here the entry, um, the, the, the admission and entry requirement. So you can get uh, the entry requirement from this website as well as the list of subject. Uh, so for example, we have uh, three semesters for full time. So for three semesters, uh, students need to take 10 uh, subjects eh, to complete this program okay for the uh, to contact our uh, postgraduate uh, program coordinator you can go to the postgraduate uh, study staff directory so these are the list of uh, program coordinator contact uh, numbers and email okay uh, due to uh, pandemic COVID most of the program coordinator are currently working from home so what you can do is you can email them, yeah? You can email them or you can directly call our uh, administration office. Okay, we have here uh, this number, okay, Puan Adina, Puan Rafida, okay, as well as our executive officer, Puan Siti Kamsa. So this is another option if you cannot reach the program coordinator, okay? All right. Um, Okay, so uh, due to a eh, pandemic, okay, we are adjusting and eh, we are now adjusting to the new normal, okay, because of the pandemic. So all classes and academic activities such as presentation, viva, eh, are conducted online. Um, so in this new normal, all the classes are online. We using uh, various platform uh, medium okay uh, UITM also has, uh, has its own uh, platform which is called new teacher in addition lecturers also use uh, uh, google meet and eh, google classroom microsoft teams um, 
WebEx, uh, Zoom, um, etc. Yeah. So uh, we have at the moment we have no problem with the online classes as most of the our postgraduate students uh, equipped eh, with a smartphone and a good uh, high spec of uh, laptop. Yeah. And uh, in addition to uh, classes, we also bring academic expert and support units uh, to online classes. And for example, our research coordinator, uh, Dr. Zara, yeah, Dr. Zara has conducted two uh, webinar series uh, last semester. Uh, first, uh, with Professor Dr. Sabarina uh, on the preparing and defense a good uh, research proposal. And second is a webinar related to research ethic. Uh, yeah, this is compulsory for all research students. Yeah. And Amber, our student association also, uh, has conducted one webinar series with uh, our librarian. Okay, uh, so from this webinar series, uh, we hope that uh, our students is really equipped with uh, necessary information eh, in order for you to continue your teaching, learning, and research uh, journey during the pandemic. Eh? All right, okay, um, organizing online industry and, and alumni talks. Eh? So our postgraduate academics and activities uh, actually is an industry oriented base, yeah? and uh, where we have uh, normally we will have a live project, okay, live client eh, from our networking from the industry. So uh, we also have a good networking uh, with the industry, okay, to make sure that our programs are continuously relevant eh, in the market. Okay, we also invited a few industry uh, experts to, be, uh, to become our part-time lecturer as well. Yeah? So due to this uh, COVID, okay, uh, we have adjusted uh, all the activities. Uh, instead uh, of, uh, normally we go going out eh, for the live project and drill client. So uh, during the pandemic, we bring in our industry and alumni. Uh, not only for the academic project, but also for the sharing session. Uh, so here's a, a few uh, webinar series that have been conducted by our program uh, coordinators uh, uh, involving uh, both eh, the private sector and the public uh, sector. Okay, it's a very um, kind of, um, proactive action taken by our program coordinator and the the webinar program was, uh, were very successful. Yeah? Okay, uh, that's all for my uh, uh, briefing. So next, I would like to uh, introduce and welcome our program coordinator 776, 777 and 771 to proceed with their program uh, briefing. Okay, um, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Thank you, Dr. Rima. Um, I am Rumaiza. Uh, sorry. Uh, can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay. Please stay clear, Dr. Rumaiza. Alhamdulillah. All right. Okay. Um, as Dr. Rima mentioned earlier, I am uh, Rumaiza, the coordinate, program coordinator for AP776. So let me introduce um, a little bit about 776 with you all. So we are. Um, um, highly known as uh, ICPM, yeah. So um, basically, um, most of our alumni um, known us as ICPM, Integrated Construction Project Management. All right. So um, this is me. So I think everybody else will uh, directly introduce the program, but I would like to introduce a little bit about me because I am one of the alumnus. Yeah, two thousand seven, two thousand nine. Yeah, M Science Integrated ICBM, right? And as Dr. Rima mentioned earlier, also um, we have been one of the earliest uh, program, yeah, established in 1997. So this year we are about 24 years already, all right? And um, why becoming ICBM uh, graduates? Because as a track record, we are the first UITM uh, M Science program. And then it's the extension of the bachelor's degree. So uh, uh, echoing to what Dr. Norima mentioned just now, so um, 
these students come from uh, various backgrounds, yeah, not necessarily from construction management students. So we have from um, engineering and even from auditors, and we have scholars from the government agencies such as um, the PTDs. Yeah? So they are all with us yeah? and, and uh, graduated with flying colors. And furthermore, uh, ICPM UITM is the only integrated construction project management program in Malaysia. So this is the last I checked is in 2020, we are still the only integrated construction project management program in Malaysia. Yeah, diversification, we have various disciplines. Yeah. And um, again, why ICPM? Um, for the fresh grad student, yeah, we have um, very few yeah, compared to the uh, experienced student because uh, most of the students are part-timers by which they are actually working yeah, working in the industry and um, we have people with um, top management posts yeah, together with us uh, and also our lecturers come from a various background with industry driven and I would say all of us are actually still um, contributed in certain ways to the industry. Yeah, um, for now, uh, we have 50% uh, examinable papers and 50% uh, continuous assessment. And um, for now, um, we are the largest uh, population of uh, postgraduate students uh, and competing with AP773. <laughs> All right. Um, so our mode of study consists of full time and part time. So what are the differences? Basically, the duration and the numbers of subjects uh, you took in a semester. Uh, because uh, in terms of uh, schedule, um, the schedule is just the same between full-time or part-time, which um, we start from 5.30 p.m. or 8.30 p.m. weekdays. Yeah, so full-time three semesters, part-time four semesters. Our intakes is twice a year, uh, just the same um, within the UITM system. And we are recognized by RICS um, from 2011 um, to 2021. So we will be renewing it this year. All right. Um, again, the program is designed for all associated disciplines in construction to prepare the students for senior position and then uh, to improve project management skill with broad functional and strategic perspective of management. Um, and also, um, uh, this program actually enables the competencies of a project manager to be developed and applied through the integration of the syllabus together with the practical issues in the workplace. Um, this is also uh, proving what Dr. Norima mentioned just now. We bring the industry to the student or we bring the student out for uh, industry projects. Yeah. So uh, for the uh, entry requirements yeah, uh, for UITM, uh, minimum 2.75 CGPA. And then for other degrees yeah, with honors from UITM or any um, institution of higher learning uh, recognized by UITM uh, with minimum of one year relevant experience. Yeah, uh, and also all the um, uh, students need to complete 45 uh, credit uh, complete and pass all the 45 credits unit of 12 subjects, all right? Um, to a certain extent, I was asked um, why certain um, uh, application was not selected. Um, this is due to the fact that the competition, yeah? Um, I, despite the minimum F is 2.75, but we have applications for, um, with uh, higher CGPA, yeah. So we have that competition as well. All right. So these are the twelve uh, subjects to be taken from project planning, design process, procurement and contract, to managing people, corporate strategic management, research methodology, dissertation, evaluation of construction international and global market, and we have two projects of. Simulation project by which uh, the one, the integrated simulation project one is for domestic projects, while integrated simulation project two is for international projects. So 
these are the subjects that we bring the student out to the industry. Okay, so these are our staff. Yeah, so we have um, uh, from the industry as well. Yeah, we have professional qualified uh, lecturers. Yeah, um, not only uh, within UITM, but we have from outside. Yeah, and these are some of the pictures where uh, when we don't have MCO, we went out to the uh, location. Yeah. Uh, for uh, studies and also um, to actually conduct uh, the required uh, simulation project with them. So this is with um, uh, the domestic, yeah, also domestic. And this is when we went outside. Yeah, we went to Indonesia and for your information, um, should this MCO uh, pass, yeah, we will go back to our uh, visiting the real project. All right, so this is in Singapore. And um, for external examiners, um, we have external examiners from um, various uh, universities, including from Singapore. And for your information, uh, Prof. Lau Su Ping is continuing um, his um, a term yeah, for our external examiners. And uh, these are some of the, uh, I would like to say, proud uh, statement from the examiners. Yeah, whereby um, integrated project of uh, ICPM yeah, with uh, we have strong points yeah? and also highly mentioned ISP one and ISP two was outstanding yeah but the work is also outstanding as well yeah and we have various panel of industry we get their um, response we get their opinion on our syllabus yeah, from JKR, from Sam Darby, from Opus and also we have um, more yeah, uh, uh, each year uh, so that um, our syllabus was kept up to date. Yeah? And this is um, our uh, quality assurance, uh, RICS, MQA of course uh, and also uh, coming soon would be MBOT. Yeah? Uh, I think that's all from me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Rumaiza. Uh, so our next presenter is uh, Dr. Siti Mazwin uh, for Program Master of Science Urban Development and uh, Management. Dr. Siti Mazwin. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Uh, yes, Dr. Rima, <coughs> I'm here. I'm just opening up the slides. Okay. Okay. Slide, slide, slide uh, view. Okay. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning. Uh, is my voice clear? Is everyone, uh, can, can you see the slides? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, Ramaiza, um, and also to thank you to Dr. Narima. Uh, this is the uh, slide for uh, program Master of Science in Urban Development and Management, AP 771. So, welcome everyone. Okay, uh, the program in Bahasa Malaysia is Sarjana Science Pembangunan dan Pengurusan Bandar, and in English, um, which is the medium of um, T 
teaching and also um, the university's policy is called Master of Science in Urban Development and Management. And this, the aim is to nurture uh, urban development managers uh, with aptitudes to active excellence responding to the present and future needs of the urban development and management field. This is the um, uh, details about the program. The program AP771 or Masters in Urban Development and Management is uh, offered um, as a full-time or a part-time mode. For full-time mode, the minimum is in two semesters or maximum three semesters. And for the part-time mode, uh, we cover four semesters and maximum to six semesters. The total credit units is 40 units. 40 units. Uh, at the moment, we are only offering this uh, program in UITM Shah Alam. Um, however, with the uh, current situation, uh, this is not a problem because um, the program is accessible uh, through uh, online uh, open distance learning. Um, the core courses are uh, 10 and we also offer elective courses. There are three elective courses which I will uh, show uh, in the later slides. Um, this program is also a nation qualification accredit accredited um, and is also accredited by the uh, Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors. Um, and we are in the uh, currently we are uh, pursuing for re accreditation, uh, but it was halted due to the uh, COVID 19 situation where the uh, uh, the, the, the panel from RICS was supposed to come and visit uh, the facilities in our, in our faculty, but uh, they are not able to uh, come at the moment. So, inshallah, we will uh, we are proceeding with this to for renewal of accreditation. Okay, uh, for entry requirements, uh, there are four categories. The first is the uh, we 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 uh, student. Potential students who have bachelor's degree, honors in science and technology or social sciences with a CGP minimum of three, or <clears throat> graduates with from the built environment with a CGP of two point five, or graduates from the built environment with a CGP of two, with working experience um, of five years within the built environment. Um, or other qualifications equivalent approved by the UITM Senate, which is the highest approval body in the university. Okay, this is a, a brief comparison with other programs in um, with other local and foreign universities. In Malaysia, at the moment, um, other universities are offering um, a similar courses, um, but uh, with a different um, name, of course, um, and the differences with the di main difference would be the duration, um, and also the um, uh, the the strength of our program would be that we are we have accreditation from um, from the RICS, and we can it can be completed within two semesters with very competitive and reasonable fees. Um, both uh, at for local and foreign uh, universities offer a similar program such as ours. Um, but again, if you look at the, um, the foreign universities, uh, they have uh, higher credit units um, attached to the uh, training for the, for the master's degree. Um, and um, and um, uh, again, our strength would be our reasonable and competitive fees and also compliance with um, um, nation qualification um, accreditation. Okay, uh, this is the employment of our graduates, those who have graduated from our program. Uh, they are very varied. Um, uh, in, in, in many uh, fields of uh, profession, from businesses, urban planning, education, property, and design construction, and also in research and development. And our graduates um, 
um, um, are also from various uh, fields. Some are uh, junior lecturers or researchers, and some are from um, in the mid-career profession as project manager or a, a researcher or an urban planner. And we also have graduates, uh, bachelor's degrees who are experienced, uh, senior town planners or senior researchers um, uh, attending our uh, um, course. Okay, uh, for the full-time syllabus, uh, which is two semesters um, and 40 credit hours, uh, the, uh, the subjects um, for the first semester are four subjects, um, totaling 19 credit hours. And for the second semester, you have, you'll be uh, pursuing um, also other subjects with um, a dissertation, which is a requirement uh, to fulfill this uh, program. Um, I would say this is quite a taxing uh, for a full-time uh, syllabus to, to complete in a year, but it is possible. Um, um, for the part-time mode, um, students can complete, inshallah, in four semesters, maximum six semesters, which I feel personally would be the best mode uh, flexibility for uh, future students because uh, I would say almost 90% of our students are those work already working currently employed uh, in the in the field and they they have to juggle with their career and also studying so part-time mode for me personally I think would be a, a very good uh, choice to to to, to um, choose um, if you if you intend to pursue this uh, program to obtain your master's in urban development and management. Uh, for the first semester, you have about three, uh, three courses, totaling the, uh, 13 credit hours, followed by the second semester, another three courses, uh, and the uh, third semester with two courses and one elective, and the final semester with one course subject and the dissertation, All right? So, um, this is uh, uh, the list of our current lecturers, but not limited. Uh, we have our dean, we have our um, head of program, head of center, sorry, head of center, uh, Dr. Norima, uh, myself as the uh, coordinator. Um, and we have our lecturers uh, teaching uh, various subjects within the program. Uh, for example, Professor TPR Tom Banner, Dr. Dasima, Associate Professor Dr. Fatima, Associate Professor Town Planner Dr. Oliver, Associate Professor uh, TS Dr. Siti Nurizaiha, Associate Professor Dr. Yusfida, Town Planner Dr. Maliana, Dr. Hamiza, Dr. Fuzia, Dr. Nur Rashikin, Dr. Azrin, Dr. Hakim, Encik Muhammad Zamrin, who is a transport specialist, Encik Muhammad, uh, our uh, who, who specializes in uh, urban governance and in Chizo Gifli, who specializes in infrastructure. We also have our industrialist panelist, which is town planner, uh, just specialist uh, Mohammad Zamri, who is the principal of City Plan, and also our panelist from the public sector, which is uh, Puan Rose Diana, the director of OSC and Majlis Pandaria Subanjaya. Okay, these are some of the facilities uh, future students are able to utilize um, uh, with limitations uh, at the moment because of the pandemic, but it is possible for students, especially those who are doing the dissertation and require to use this um, equipment. Uh, and most, or I would say, all of these uh, equipment are based in our Puncha Alam campus in uh, Puncha Alam. The, uh, the durian dome, the, um, the lighting lab, and the 3D printing uh, facilities available for our students. Okay, uh, in terms of marketability, uh, I would say 100% uh, of our graduates are, are employed within the six months of their graduation. And uh, when we conducted the survey, uh, the outcome of the educational cluster was that um, it fulfills, uh, the program fulfills functional skills, cognitive, personal, entrepreneurial, knowledge, and professional and ethics skills. Um, 
and before the pandemic uh, uh, we uh, students were allowed to um, to travel overseas uh, for various subjects such as um, the um, uh, urban environment and urban studio projects um, um, and I hope I hope uh, we can do this again soon inshallah. Okay, these are the employees of our graduates uh, from various uh, establishments and organizations, both private and public sector. Um, and these are our uh, graduates, uh, both uh, from Malaysia and also from um, from Egypt, such as Ala, um, uh, and we have our lecturers from uh, who is currently a lecturer, A. R. Razli. Uh, we also have um, um, from um, various local con local authorities like Ivana and 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 use use and from also from planning consultants. And um, at the moment, we have our uh, our students from Nigeria, and a future student would be from China, I think. Uh, if uh, at, currently uh, she's doing her bridging English program. Okay, I think that is all. Um, maybe with the Q and A, will be um, I can answer some questions. Okay, um, thank you, uh, TPR Dr. Siti Mazni, uh, for the short uh, briefing of the program. Okay, next I would like uh, to invite uh, Professor Madia so Dr. Siti Nolizaiha no for British, uh, management, uh, conservation and management from France. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Assalamualaikum. Uh, thank you, Dr. Norima. Dr. Norima will helping me uh, to present uh, my slide. Okay. Uh, Okay, we start. Okay, thank you, Dr. Norima, for helping me presenting this slide. Um, for first of all, uh, good uh, assalamualaikum, assalamualaikum, and good afternoon to our potential postgraduate students. Okay, this is the last presentation uh, on uh, courses that offered in uh, postgraduate uh, faculty architecture planning and surveying. Yeah. Master Science Heritage and Conservation Management, uh, also known as HCM, an yeah, acronym HCM, Heritage Conservation Management. Code, our code program is FP77. Yeah? Okay, uh, this program is um, started or established in year 2006 huh? and uh, this program is the only postgraduate that offer a coursework program in masters in Malaysia. Yeah? Uh, I'm so proud yeah, um, to share with you all. Uh, this is the only program and then we established this program um, concurrently with National Heritage Department yeah? and we so happy uh, until now we survive, then uh, it uh, reflects uh, the themes of uh, this program to preserve our heritage. Okay, most of the students which enroll this program are, are always asking me, uh, in this program, is it we learn on arts or cultures? Uh, so uh, in this presentation, I want to clear that the, this program is uh, uh, situated or um, under Faculty of Architecture and Planning, we focus more on built heritage, yeah, built heritage, yeah. But also part of this, the student also can do it, their project or thesis that related with uh, culture, natural, also a little bit on uh, tourism. Okay, so uh, this program also uh, uh, is being. Um, uh, been uh, designed uh, directly and reflects the current practice, uh, current practice by industry, whereas our the main agencies in Malaysia that uh, preserve and conserve our our heritage is National Heritage Department. Uh, so next, next, please, Dr. Rima. Okay. 
um, so uh, this program, uh, what, what I call is a uh, unique experimental learning in the field. Uh, in this program, we not only bring the industry to the class, but also we bring out the students to the industry. Okay, this program is focused to dual focus. It is a dual focus program on conservation methods and technique and policy application in heritage conservation. If you can, if you, if you can see uh, all the potential students here, yeah, uh, lots of activity uh, on conservation and restoration practice at the field where being uh, supervised by industry and national heritage department have been conducted during the semester for, uh, for unfortunately, unfortunately for this uh, semester in year 2020 we cannot go out because of MCO but we also do a virtual process how to conserve the heritage of the building yeah? uh, we sharing it with industry so this is uh, some uh, example the building I'm going to share with you this is uh, what it means by built heritage so the student will uh, understand and learn how uh, the method and technique to preserve the old building heritage building and become a new uh, heritage building that being concerned yeah. this is all about yeah? I conclude about the, the content of the uh, programs yeah? so next Okay, uh, how to enroll this program? Yeah. How to enroll this program? The entry requirements uh, is the uh, same with other program in the uh, postgraduate program by coursework in uh, Faculty of Architecture and in Surveying. Yeah. Uh, the student must have a bachelor degrees in any built environment free from the IM. So don't worry if you don't have any background on heritage or conservation method and techniques. Yeah. We accept all the students from UITM, yeah, from UITMs, uh, with uh, minimum 2.75 uh, CGPA, and also from others bachelor degrees, yeah, from others from uh, FSPU. Yeah, we also have a student from a school of engineering, also student from a school of architecture from UIA, from UTM, also private university. And then if your CDPA below than uh, 2.75, you must have at least one year work experience. And if you are interested uh, uh, to enroll this program, don't worry. Uh, if your uh, CDPA is uh, less than 2.5, uh, at least you have three years working experience. But uh, we also have a student, uh, less of three years, but they are really, really interested to join this program. So the candidate will attend the interview. Yeah? So don't worry. Okay, next. So for the uh, program mode and durations, yeah, these programs for the uh, we conduct on mode of study, uh, full time and part time. So duration of study for full time is one and a half years. That's mean three semesters, uh, and maximum four semesters for full times, and two years, uh, uh, two years uh, for part time student, and then uh, maximum for uh, two years mean four semesters, and for uh, and then, then to complete it for part time is is three years or six semesters. Yeah. Okay, so number of intakes is wise, September and March. Uh, so we're looking forward to you to enroll this coming March and September. Okay, so a uh, lot of students asking me what after graduate we're going to do. Okay, most of the students, 90% eh, is uh, from industries, yeah? also from other universities, also from a professional that enroll this for uh, career enhancement on. Uh, uh, knowledge on how to conserve historic building. So the graduate can employ as building conservator, curators, uh, also heritage officer, historian and researcher. And then also our student, uh, our alumni also become a project manager, also a manager for uh, tourist, uh, tourist, uh, tourist operator. Yeah? Okay, where they can work? They were at the uh, heritage consultants, uh, also at the government agencies. 
So under government agency, there is a post uh, heritage officers. Yeah? Uh, they open every year under SBA. And so at local authorities, no at local authorities, a lot of uh, special added plan, uh, special added plan, uh, we, on, on, uh, yeah, special added plan, we need an uh, expert on heritage. Yeah? Also at uh, restoration contractors, architecture and urban planning firms. Yeah? Also our students uh, and alumni also engage with many heritage society in their hometown. Yeah? Okay, so next. So what the uh, list of uh, subjects that uh, must be taken by the student yeah, during your studies, there are um, 10 subjects. Yeah. For semester one, it's more on theory, yeah, history and theory of architecture. Yeah. So urban conservation management, yeah, and then uh, managing and human relation ethics. Also, there's one a subject on natural and heritage landscape conservation. Okay, this is the student uh, will, will go for the field uh, works to the um, natural area, such as uh, Royal uh, Loom. So last, last previous year, a student went out to the uh, academic tree to the Royal Balloons. Yeah? Okay, for second semester, these are more uh, practicals, yeah? practicals or on conservation and development control. This is uh, the core subject where the student will we, we, uh, we will bring up to the industry. Uh, so you can apply all the techniques at semester one. At um, at, uh, uh, in a, at semester one, you will apply at a semester two during the field work with industry. Okay. Also, we have economics of heritage. Okay. We learn how to estimate uh, the cost and uh, how to manage the conservation project. Also, we have research methodology. And for the final semester, we have an integrated projects in conservation. The integrated project is cover uh, all the uh, aspects, natural heritage, uh, built heritage, also on tourism aspects. Okay. And then students also need to do a dissertation. Uh, okay. So, so this is our uh, expert lecturer next. So currently we have uh, eight lecturers with a various background. Yeah. So all the lecturers is come from our faculty with various experience, and then uh, such as uh, I'm from uh, Department of Planning. Yeah, we have uh, Dr. Asmawi and Good. Uh, he's an architect, architect from uh, Department of Architecture. We have Dr. Rohana and Dr. Fadil uh, is QS. And so we have Dr. Uh, Alama, is from the landscape department. Uh, Dr. Sharoyani also uh, is uh, from building survey department. Also we have Dr. Ahmad Nazrin from Park Amenities and Dr. Rosina Ramdi from the Survey Department. If you can see here, uh, this is cross-discipline uh, cross discipline field that have a background on heritage and conservation. We also uh, have a close relationship with industries. Uh, so although uh, we're not uh, uh, under any board of uh, professional board, uh, uh, board, but we're looking forward uh, for next uh, uh, to accredit by Nation Board of Technologies. So, but we have cross relationships with uh, industry. So, currently, our panel industry from National Heritage Department uh, is uh, Deputy Commissioner of Heritage Malaysia, Mr. Muda Muhammad. Yeah? So, we quite close with industries because the other industry we monitor and give the idea how to. Uh, uh, to make sure our program is uh, achieve the standard that can be applied when the student finish with uh, it to become a conservator. Yeah? Okay, next. So, um, the student is yeah, quite active. Yeah? So, what I have presented before earlier, yeah? this is a uh, heritage conservation activities. When you enroll this program, every semester is a one subject on conservation method and technique. There is a way we bring the student to industry. So this is a continuous, a continuous assessment uh, 
not only by uh, us but also by industries. So the student will learn uh, on the conservation uh, methods and technique to preserve our heritage, know the the, uh, the historic material, also how to promote the area that have lots of cultural and uh, heritage significance. Yeah? Okay, this is in semester two. Yeah? Student semester two. Okay. Okay. Besides uh, the, the heritage consultations, they embedded with the courses. Okay, the student also uh, do a comparative study, comparative study in academic trip. In, in academic trip. Uh, okay, this is a uh, international academic trip. Uh, the student also do a comparative study within uh, for for these classes. We focus uh, on any heritage site with uh, World Heritage Status. Okay. I think that's all for... for introduction for this program. Okay, later maybe uh, you have a, a question regarding this program. Uh, I, I can get... a, a potential student for this coming semester. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Nali. We nearly lost uh, you. Your voice are not clear at the end of the presentation. Okay, uh, thank you very much to all uh, program coordinators. So, uh, now we uh, start okay. our Q&A session. So if, we, if uh, you have any questions uh, related to our program, feel free to ask us. You can uh, ask straight away from uh, uh, through this unit or you can use our uh, chat box okay and our chat box we have a message uh, from Ipsis okay uh, Puan Siti Fatima okay don't forget to follow Ipsis Facebook and Instagram for new updates for postgraduate and uh, also has uh, post uh, a Google form okay for students uh, to complete okay uh, under Rima Arif yeah their potential candidates kindly complete this Google form and for jam latihan for uh, staff, uh, kindly complete um, the attached form as well. Okay, IPSIS also uh, announced the live chat at ipsis.uitm.edu.my. Uh, and then uh, uh, please fill up attendance and feedback from, from IPSIS. And uh, uh, this is very interesting. Yeah? Don't forget to take advantage of the free pins. Uh, we have 50 ringgit, yeah? So you, you don't need to uh, spend 50 ringgit uh, for the application fee. So what you need to do, you go to the live chat uh, to get the, uh, the pin number free yeah, from Ipsis. So currently Ipsis uh, offering 200 free pins to the potential uh, students yeah, who choose to continue your postgraduate uh, studies in UITM. So we have we open the session to the QA. Any question from the participants? Don't feel shy to ask. You can ask any questions. Assalamualaikum. Uh, salam. Yes, thank you, Ahmad Shahmi. I'm from uh, degree, um, degree student. I'm just, I'm wondering that most of the students that continue their master are working. So, uh, and there's a few students from a degree to uh, continue straight to master. So, in my, uh, I want to ask, is it better for us to gain uh, work experience first before continuing our master or in uh, we can just continue master? I, think, uh, I need to know whether it is good to gain experience first or just go through with master first. Okay, uh, very interesting uh, questions came. Uh, most of our potential candidates eh, uh, will ask this question whether uh, is it possible for us to uh, go to industry first or continue with uh, our master program. Eh? So um, at the moment, our students eh, consist of both. We have uh, fresh graduate students eh, as well as uh, working students. So uh, all these uh, get, uh, category of students, uh, we pull them in one class. We don't have separate class for uh, for working student or for uh, fresh graduate student. Yeah? All of you will be in one class. Yeah? So uh, the lecturer normally will balance yeah, between the uh, uh, working students and uh, 
course, um, fresh students. Eh? Uh, it's a two-way communication in, uh, during the class eh? and uh, it's a more to sharing session because we have um, uh, students uh, that are considered expert in the industry and then we have fresh graduate students yeah, uh, that normally are very energetic yeah, to pursue their study. Okay. It depends on uh, your reason, why you choose postgraduate, why you want to continue your postgraduate uh, studies after you uh, finish your uh, degree. Okay, Because for me, a postgraduate study is an enhancement program, okay, exceptional to AP773. In order for them to be an architect, they have to uh, take uh, this program and grade, uh, graduate as a graduate architect. Yeah? So for the, uh, others program, is an enhancement uh, program. So if uh, you don't have any uh, barrier or obstacle in terms of funding, uh, okay, yes, you can, you can uh, straight away continue your study. But uh, meanwhile, you can also search uh, for job outside there. Yeah, um, some students they prefer to work uh, because of uh, they want to get uh, gain additional knowledge and as well as uh, to to fund their studies in our program. Yeah, there is no, it, it's very hard for us to say that uh, you you need to work first or you you can go straight away to master program. You set the target because for me, our, our master program is no longer spoon feeding. It's a from, uh, it's a matured uh, uh, program. So the student has uh, the student have to make a decision. Okay, you you make your own list. Why you need to continue study straight away from your degree, or why you need to uh, start your career first? Because each a student will have a different reason. Uh, eh? Inshallah, semoga dipermudahkan. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ata. Okay, welcome. My pleasure. Okay. Any question? Yeah, I have a question here. So, uh, let's say if I don't continue my study for this year or next year, so uh, is there any limit for the offer for the PhD fast, uh, fast track? And how long did the offer is valid? Is it uh, based on the age? Uh, of the student or it's just based on the CPA that we got uh, during our degrees? Okay, basically uh, your question is related to fast track, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Fast okay, track. Uh, okay, for fast track uh, program, okay, um, uh, it's a special program designed for students uh, from the ITM with first class uh, qualification or uh, from other universities uh, if I'm not mistaken, 3.6 something, okay, a little bit higher compared to us. So, uh, for there is no age limit, okay, but our expectation that uh, for fast track uh, for program, if you are uh, graduating students or you just graduated uh, last semester or two semesters, semesters ago, before you uh, apply this uh, fast track program, it is a very advisable if you can. Uh, communicate with uh, your potential supervisor from our faculty, okay? Because uh, in order for you to enroll the fast track uh, program, you need to defend your research proposal because uh, the most important aspect of PhD fast track, you want to see your maturity and your readiness yeah, to, to enroll our program because you skip the master's uh, process. So the student should be extraordinary in terms of uh, the preparation uh, to enroll the PhD uh, fast track. Okay? Normally, the student uh, will refer back uh, to their uh, dissertation topic uh, during their uh, degree so perhaps you can develop uh, from the existing uh, from your research topic eh, uh, you did in, uh, during your degree and then talk to the talk to your lecturers and of course eh, the lecturer will assist you will guide you on how to to, to upgrade eh, the your dissertation into the into uh, PhD level because for PhD level the originality the contribution is very impo important. Okay, Karin. Uh, I have another question. Uh, it just I want to ask for an opinion. Uh, which one is better, either to continue with the master or just proceed with the PhD and the points and costs. 
okay, option ya, ya whether uh, proceed with master by research yeah, or PhD fast track. Yeah. Again, depends on your capability, eh, your competencies, your skills, your readiness yeah, and your attitude uh, to postgraduate program. Okay. Uh, if you are not uh, confident with PhD fast track, eh, you can enroll our master by research program. Okay, for master by research program, we have special pathway where student can apply conversion. Okay, uh, for the first uh, uh, your first year, okay, uh, maybe uh, at the seven or eight month, okay, you can you can submit your conversion application to our office. Eh? Conversion means that uh, you can convert your master level uh, straight away to PhD subject to the uh, examiner's evaluation on your dissertation. Okay, uh, if you're interested uh, to, if you are not so confident with PhD pass track, what you can do is you enroll our master by research and not by course, by research program. Okay, you discuss, you strategize with your supervisor and you work smart. Okay, um, you start uh, early, eh? don't, don't, don't delay, okay? You strategize from the early first week of your registration and of course, uh, if you fulfill the requirement, you can submit your draft, okay? We need uh, your, uh, your first draft uh, to be submitted to our internal and examiners and we will call you for presentation uh, and the examiners will decide whether you can proceed. Uh, to PhD or not. If unsuccessful, you will continue your uh, master program uh, as usual and then after you graduated, you can make a decision for uh, PhD uh, level. Yeah? So again, uh, it is good if you can communicate with your potential supervisor. This, it, is, it is not a, a lonely journey. Talk to somebody. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Um, we have question from the chat box. Okay, Assalam. The program can apply by international students. What are requirements? Yeah? Yes, uh, we welcome uh, our, our international candidates yeah, from all over the world, actually, not necessarily from Chinese. Okay, so the requirements are such as TOEFL or IELTS. Yeah, you can refer to your uh, Ipsys website. So, uh, currently, uh, if you don't meet the IELTS or software requirements, you can apply and enroll our program. And concurrently, you need to uh, attend the uh, English uh, classes. So, uh, the English requirements will be your exit requirement rather than your entry requirements. Okay, uh, I hope I answer Mr. Uh, Miss or Mrs. Join me. Okay, next question is from Amalina Angutamam. Okay, salam doctor. Sorry to interrupt. I want to ask, for example, if you are working and you want to pursue master by course part time, how will the classes be conducted during weekdays or during weekend? What if we are working in different states? Okay, thank you. I think Dr. Rumaiza, can you as, uh, assist me on these questions? Because uh, most of the uh, the reminds us uh, students are uh, part-time students. All right. Um, <laughs> thank you, Dr. Rima. Uh, to answer the question, basically, our class are in weekdays. Yeah. Um, but in relation to working at other states, well, I have um, students where they actually um, some sort of get time off or something like that during the days where they have classes with us uh, because our class uh, started at uh, 5 30 to 6 p.m or uh, 8 30 p.m but um, the classes would be uh, according to the subjects taken uh, during that semester for example if uh, semester one for part-timers will have three subjects so we will have uh, three days in a week uh, for class yeah uh, and but now uh, because of this um, uh, online classes situation so we can have the students to be um, whenever they want to be because we have currently now the students suddenly um, uh, shifted to projects in Penang 
uh, projects in Johor, but still they can attend the class because of these uh, online classes going on now. But if in the physical, um, I think uh, we the student need to be committed uh, in attending classes, and maybe some arrangement uh, need to be done uh, between the student and the employer, or maybe um, students and the lecturer. I think that's from me. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Rumaza. Okay, uh, Miss Shaharia. Okay. Dr. Noli, Dr. Noli, are you still there? Okay, we have one question uh, related to full-time class and part-time class for MSc and uh, Heritage uh, Conservation course. Uh, okay, okay. I think Dr. Noli is not available. Okay, for Heritage Conservation class, yeah, for full-time and part-time, the time, okay, we have Dr. Noli here. Okay, Dr. Noli. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry uh, it's the same like uh, Integrated Conservation Management. Uh, part-time and full-time class, uh, we start uh, uh, at uh, 5.30, yeah? that's mean after, after work, so, uh, 5.30, 6. Uh, 6 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. at night. Yeah, so don't worry. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dr. Nani. Uh, uh, yeah. We lost you, Dr. Nani. Ah, not, uh -uh, not, 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 not. Okay. Not stable. Not clear. Okay, okay. sorry, my line not, not clear. Yeah. But it, it's the same. Right. Uh, uh, Okay. The uh, timetable is almost same with other postgraduate uh, class. Huh? Okay, we have one. Thank you, Dr. Nali. We have one question um, from uh, Miss Laili Elina. Okay, you raise your hand. So, what is your question? Uh, Miss Laili, or oh, accidentally raise your hand? Okay, any question? Okay, don't forget to fill in, uh, to complete the Google form attached in the chat box. Okay, uh, any question from our potential uh, students? Okay, you can ask any questions that necessarily related to the three programs uh, presented just now. Okay, we have the remaining seven programs, yeah? Okay. Uh, when the other when the other courses be presented? Okay. Um, okay. We have ten programs, and eh? unfortunately, we can uh, we're not able to uh, to have all programs in uh, presented in one uh, session. Okay, my advice is uh, you can personally contact uh, the program coordinator, yeah, uh, to, to get further information about the program. Okay, uh, Ms. Fauza, if you have a question uh, related to other program, you can ask us. We try to answer the question at our best, or perhaps the, co the program coordinator is uh, in this uh, gym. <laughs> Okay, Miss Fauzia, do you have any question to ask? Uh, Hi, thanks for okay. Uh, doctor. Okay, Miss Nur. Uh, yep. Uh, okay. Uh, I saw before this. Uh, ICPM offer uh fifty percent assessment and fifty percent examination. My question is, how about urban management is it uh same with acpm or 100 percent examination thank you okay dr uh, city Marzi. okay uh okay thank you for the question for program ap771 urban development and management currently um yes all the courses are examinable except for uh, studio uh, 
uh, studio and um, dissertation. That is continuous assessment. But the other um, uh, eight, eight, eight or nine subjects are examinable currently. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does that answer okay. your question? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Okay, we have one question uh, from uh, Shin. Okay. Hi, thanks for the info. Very helpful. My question is Do I'm able to apply for March intake? AP 776 because my current CGPA was not meet the requirements eh? because the first year result of my degree was not good and just getting better for the following year. But I believe my CGPA will meet the requirement after my final year this semester. Okay, pass to you Dr. All right, uh, okay. Uh, I, I think I know this student. I mean, we've talked, all right. Um, the requirement is a requirement. Yeah, we have to fulfill in order for me to justify my decision. Um, however, um, should your final um, uh, results yeah, um, fulfill the requirement, um, you may uh, come to me uh, with the, uh, your final results. You know, maybe we have, uh, maybe we can do something about it. All right. But as of now, um, if it's clearly not meeting the minimum requirement, so um, I have to advise that we need to have the requirement fulfilled first. Yeah? All right. Thank you. Okay, AP776 is among the most popular program eh, in our postgraduate uh, school. Okay, uh, uh, the, the capacity is only one class, eh? exactly. but the application is more than <laughs> Exactly, that, that's it. Uh, I did mention uh, during my presentation that um, it is highly competitive. Yeah, uh, that's why I really need to be very careful with the selection. Yeah, uh, but again, if you have the minimum re requirement, um, maybe we can, you know, see how we do about it but if no not fulfilling the minimum requirement it is going to be hard for me to make decision yeah all right another option you can choose other programs yeah facilities management heritage uh, yes uh okay. yeah, another option yes okay any last question from the uh me from the participants uh any last question All right, I think we have no more questions. Okay, I would like uh, to thank uh, to all uh, whoever uh, available eh, to participate in our webinar today. And eh. thank you very much to our program coordinator, uh, postgraduate office management team, uh, as IPSIS, as well as our potential uh, students. Eh. Uh, with that, uh, um, thank you, Dr. Arima. No, Arima. Ah, Dr. Hussein is here. Okay, Dr. Hussein, thank you very much. Uh, for this I'm actually monitoring from a very quite beginning as well. Baru nampak. Okay, just want to tell to, to all the participants for today, as mentioned, for this week, we do provide a free pins to all the candidates. Take the we are, take the opportunity because the free pin, if you want to apply after the week, they might buy the pin through the BSN that, that is around 50 ringgit. Now we are giving the free pin for the application for free. So grab this opportunity, how they can get this uh, pin by at, uh, go to our Ipsys uh, website and go to the live chat. And from that live chat, our staff will entertain the candidate and will give uh, take some information and will provide the free pin accordingly. And also, I would also like to take the opportunity to thanks doctor and the team. You have done a very good job for the, uh, today's sessions. I think a lot of input have been given as well. Really hope, uh, I really hope it will uh, benefit to all of us. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you.
Thank you Dr. Hussein from Ipsis and thank you all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Salam. Assalamualaikum. Terima kasih untuk terima. Thank you, Dr. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih semua. Thank you uh, Mr. Cairo for helping us today. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> <I'm>, uh, <laughs>